Trade-offs are choices between two desirable but conflicting goals. They're inherent to the sustainable development decision making. Although we need development to reduce the vulnerability to disaster risks, we have actually been seeing that development has been increasing those risks. A good example of this is with coastal real estate development. Um, although there are economic gains from coastal real estate development, it also puts people and assets into harm's way from, for example, hurricanes. Although we cannot eliminate disaster risks or risks in sustainable development, we can better manage, manage them and reduce them by understanding the trade-offs involved in the decision-making processes. One type of trade-off is the power trade-off, and this can be seen with who is involved in decision-making and who is not involved in decision-making. The power trade-off is really important to, for example, the post-disaster recovery phase where um, involvement of local communities can provide really inf important information and knowledge about what, which would be good to use in the building back phase after recovery. However, the inclusion and participation of stakeholders and the local community takes resources, it takes skills, and it takes time, and those things are not always available in this post-disaster phase. However, for each case, the appropriate level and, and means of involvement must be determined.